So the last of the hydrocarbon derivatives in Chem 30 are esters. Esters have a functional group of not an alcohol, OH was the functional group for alcohol, and C double bond O, OH was the functional group for carboxylic acid, but it's kind of like both at the same time, because actually in order to make an ester, you take an alcohol and you take carboxylic acid and you put them together. And so this is the functional group for an ester, R, C, double bond O, O, R prime. The R prime just means that this hydrocarbon isn't necessarily the same as this hydrocarbon, but it's, they're still hydrocarbons. So, and then we call this an ester linkage because it kind of like links two hydrocarbons together. Okay, there are like official IUPAC naming rules, IUPAC meaning the, the um, international law naming system. Um, and so there are official IUPAC rules for uh, naming esters that are a little bit more complicated. It's, you know, find the alcohol bit and change the ending to YL and etc. cetera. Um, <clears throat> but we're not gonna follow those rules because this is Chem 30, not university. And we're going to condense those rules because we'll have simplified um, esters. And so these are going to be simplified rules. So the first thing we're going to do is going to, we're going to find the oxygen with a single bond. And we're going to name that first as the branch. So that's like the YL part that we've been naming first all along. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to find the double bond. And we're going to name that as the parent chain with the O8. Okay. So if I first find the oxygen with the single bonds, that's this oxygen, and I go away from that functional group, so I go out to the end, <clears throat> but not this way because that's going into the functional group, okay? So this has two carbons in it. I'm going to name it first as my branch. So how do I name two carbons? F, how do I name it as a branch? It's ethyl. Then the second thing I do is I find the oxygen with a double bond and I name it away. So this is one, two, three, four. So this is but. And then I'm going to change the ending to O8. So butan, because it's all singly bonded. And then the ending for an ester is to change that to O-A-T-E. Okay. Uh, in organic chemistry, there is a space, or in organic, I mean, in naming uh, esters, there is a space there. So that helps us understand what part is my uh, alcohol part and what part is my carboxylic acid part, or what part goes on one side of the single bonded oxygen, what part goes on the double bonded oxygen part, okay? So uh, that space is not existing in the other molecules uh, naming, they're all one words, but this one has a space in to help us out. Okay, so let's do this. Example here, uh, I have, I'm first going to name the single bonded oxygen and go away. So that's this single bonded oxygen and go away. So I have one, two, three, and then I have a branch here. We'll talk about that in a second. Four. So my longest parent chain is four carbons. I name that as but, uh, I would name it as a butane, but this is going to be butol, oops, because that's the way we're supposed to do it. And then I see here that I have a methyl hanging off of my butane parent chain. Now, when I'm numbering this methyl, I have to, I have to go from the functional group and make that carbon one, have to. So that has to be carbon one, just like with the carboxylic acids, that one had to be carbon one. It's kind of the same idea. This is the functional group, so that has to be carbon one. So this is two and this is three. So off of carbon three, I have a methyl which is hanging off of a butyl. And that's all one word because it is um, all part of the one side of that functional group. On the other side of that functional group, so find my double bond and move away. That was the second part, right? Find the double bond and move away. Finding the double bond and moving away. I have two carbons here. Two carbons are named uh, F. So I have a space here, right, to indicate that there's a, uh, a change. So this is F. A-N, because they're all singly bonded, F-N-O-A-T-E, to tell me that it's an ester. Okay, now in this compound, which I didn't actually write down properly, this is all one word here, but N O eight. Okay, so the space that exists in this compound is here. There's my space. So this tells me that this is part 
of the alcohol part and that this then is all part of the um, carboxylic acid part. So this is the double bond, right? The second part is the, is the double bond. So let's just do that first. So but, so there's a carbon with a double bond. I need four of them. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that's what this second double bond part with a second name, butanoate, tells me I'm going to make that an ester. Fine. But because this is all one word, this tells me that the two methyl is off of this butanoate. So if this is carbon one, this is carbon two, there's my methyl off of the butanoate. And then I have my ethyl that's on the other side of the oxygen. So one, two for that ethyl on the other side of that oxygen. And then I have to just tag on my hydrogens. H3, H2, filled, filled, one H there, three H's here, two H's here, and three H's here. So that's naming esters. Find that single bond, go away from the functional group, make that your branch. Uh, find the double bond, go away and make that your parent chain.